Hello friends of the French Foreign Legion, I am greeting you. So we are still in French Guiana in the years between 1985 and 1987 and I am displaying today some photos for you, especially for you, photos from souvenirs in my time in the third REI. So please enjoy the next 15 minutes. Amitié légionnaire, yours Thomas Gast. Bye bye. So the first photo has been taken deep in the forest Amazonian, right? And you can see three men and the gentleman to the left side with the head on and the rifle on his hand. This is a Polish guy, a French foreign legioner, of course. This is my friend Thomas Kalusa. You know, he's a really good hunter. And he is one of the guys who made the AMF uh, course. The AMF course is one of the toughest in the French foreign legion. I'm talking about Ed Monitor Forest. You know, and the gentleman in the middle is a local Indian uh, scout and the gentleman to the right side, this is Narcisse and Narcisse, this is our jungle god. This is the French foreign legion's jungle god. <laughs> Why? Because this local, he teaches us everything about the forest, yeah? how to hunt, where to hunt, what to hunt and what not. He teaches us everything about traps, booby traps, all about plants, yes, and all this stuff. And he is perfect in everything concerning the forest. Uh, Narcisse, he's not active anymore because he took his red red to talk in French terms. What means he, he is now get, getting his pension, you know, but nevertheless, every day he's in the forest to get more experience and more experience and more experience. Great gentlemen, Nazis, chapeau. <laughs> we are going to the next photo. So on the photos two, three, four and five, I display some snakes. The first one is of course a big anaconda. This one is about six and a half meters longer. I am the gentleman, I'm the third one from left and on the CFE, they teach us CFE, what means uh, Centre Entraînement for the Equatorial, Equatorial. This is our training school deep in the forest, in the Amazonian forest. And they taught us how to, how to catch snakes, yeah, poisonous snakes and also anacondas. This one is only six, only six and a half meters long, but uh, out there in the forest, we saw anacondas nine meters long. And this is true. This is the truth. So on the next photos, you can see what the French call fer de lance. And the fer de lance, we also caught them with our hands, is one of the most dangerous snakes in French Guiana. If the fer de lance bites you, game over. Yeah. So this photo is showing or it is displaying a friend of mine and he is also from the third company of the third REI. He is in the forest and he's a, by the way, he's a French guy, what we call Gaulois, you know, because the French guys in the French for region, we call Gaulois. And on his shoulder, you can see a big spider. We call it Amatudu or Goliath spider. And the Goliath spider could be like this. 20, 25 uh, centimeters, no problem. Um, Goliath spiders are not dangerous. They can be dangerous, but if you treat them well, no problem. You can eat them. If you have nothing else to eat, you can eat them and they are, are very, they have a very genuine taste. Okay. So don't worry about spiders in French Guiana. At least don't worry about the big spiders in French Guiana. You should take care about the small one. Okay, next photo, please. <laughs> On the next two photos, you can see the third company of the third REI, my company, marching and singing. The first photo has been taken in the camp, Cartier Forge. And the front man, the first man yeah, who makes this one is Adjudant Chef Falco. And Falco is one of the best 
platoon leader you can find, you could find at this time in the French Foreign Legion. A very, very tough guy. The next photo, the second one, we are marching in Saint Laurent de Loyapoque. And here the front man is Captain Martin. Martin, he was our big boss. I talked about Martin. If not, I will do it in the near future, believe me. Next photo, come on. <laughs> Manolito, here we are. I talked to you about the statue. When you enter the camp, the Cartier Forge, you have on the right side a small hill, and on, on top of the hill, there is a statue of a soldier coming from the Tonkin War. And this soldier is out of copper, entirely copper. And he has his chin on his fist, and he is looking towards Cayenne. You know? And the prison inmates of the regiment gave him the name. Manolito. Why ever? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. But the thing is, when our commander in chief, the regiment commander, U, the chef de corps, enters the Cartier Forge in the morning time, his first look is to Manolito. And if Manolito smiles because he is shining, then everything is good. If not, everything turns out bad this day. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, we are going to the next photo. So this photo is showing me Caporal Gast in my lodge, in my room in the third company. You can see my capi blanc. I'm wearing the capi blanc yeah, with the black jugular. You can see the epaulette tradition to the left and to the right in the colors of the French Foreign Legion, green and red. Green for the land, landscape, for peace, red for war, for intervention, for operations and for blood on the terrain. You can see the division badge on my, on my right side, also my ranks and the blue badge. You can see the blue badge and this blue badge was given by uh, President Truman to the regiment after the Second World War. And yeah, of course, you can see the Pucel, the Pucel of the third REI. Pucel, what means it's a small, the small leather on the right side with the, the, the badge of the regiment, you know? This was the last photo for today. And now I have something very genuine for you. Le chacal craigne pour le peau. Le chacal craint un pot, le pot, et ya, oh oh, le de la trois viendra bientôt, et ya, oh oh, oh oh, oh oh, oh oh, oh, clocher nous mettra, claquant dans le vent notre fagnot. Au clocher, nous mettrons, claquant dans le vent, notre fagnon. Amitié légionnaire, yours, bye bye, Thomas Gast.